Alright, so today I'm going to be showing you again how to play and patch Mario stuff or just play anything in general on an emulator. I did this before, but apparently no one cared then, which was probably close to a year ago, so it's not really a surprise, but anyway, Google is your friend. I cannot provide you links to anything. So, any questions about can you give me blank? No, I cannot. You'll have to go to Google. What you basically need is an emulator, which is a Super Nintendo emulator, and uh, I use ZSNES, so go to Google, type in ZSNES, and there you go. Hit enter, and then it'll give you a bunch of links. If you want to play Mario, you're going to need a Super Mario World ROM, which you can look for that yourself, and if you can't find it, better learn to look harder. And if you play hacks, or want to play hacks, I'll have to show you how to do that. Uh, in a second. So now basically you know what you need. I do not play Mario on any system. I play it on a computer. If you want to if you want to call a computer a system, then I guess I play it on the computer. Either way, I play it on the computer, not an Xbox or a Wii or a PS3 or you know what have you, but it's on the computer. You're going to need a Super Nintendo emulator and you're going to need a ROM of whatever game you're playing. And uh, it's kind of illegal if you don't own the game that you're downloading the ROM for, so I suggest you own the game or you keep your mouth shut. So, next we'll find out how to patch hacks. Alright, so most regular ROMs, like the Super Mario World ROM or whatever Super Nintendo game you're trying to play, uh, if it's a ROM, it should be an SMC file, I believe. Let me just check to make sure yeah yeah SMC file so that should be an SMC file if you have an SMC file then you don't need to patch anything this is for Mario hacks I don't know if you know other game hacks require this I doubt they would I don't there might be another process I don't know don't ask me I don't know I don't know how to do Mario stuff though so this is Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom the first one which I still have on my computer for some reason and uh, if you go to properties you can see it's an IPS file which uh, Lunar IPS is how you hack the uh, the ROM, the the original ROM, and I don't know how to use Lunar IPS. So asking me, you won't really get much of a good response because I'll say I don't know because I don't know how to hack. I just play. If I wanted to, I could probably tinker around for a while or ask some people or you know do that. But I don't. I just like to play them. So this is gonna be an IPS file. What you need to do. This is how I have it. I have a uh, a big folder full of my Super Mario stuff. Uh, you should put all your ZSNES stuff in here, which that is, and all this crap is ZSNES, and so is that, and that is too. This is part of the ZSNES stuff. Uh, this is a folder full of a bunch of crap that I use, like there's my several minutes later thing, and my th this pretty much used to hold all of my intro stuff and music, and it's pretty much defunct now because I don't use it. This was TSPR for some reason, which means I should probably delete that. And anyway, <clears throat> you're pretty much going to need to be at this main little level of the folder. So within, I have my Super Mario World ROM, and an SRM is basically a save file, so I really don't need that either. But sometimes I accidentally load that up, and it creates a save file. So basically, this is the ROM, the ROM that you're going to need to find. It needs to be a clean ROM. If it's not a clean ROM, the ROM might not work, it won't work properly, or uh, you can't patch it with hacks. So Basically what you're going to need to do is create a new folder if you're trying to patch an IPS. We'll name it Panic. There you go. So, uh, let's find our... No, I'm just going to copy it instead of moving all this crap around. Hopefully, will still be able to see it. Control V, paste. So now our IPS file is in the Panic folder. Come back out and we need to copy the Super Mario World ROM, which is the Super Mario World SMC. That is the original ROM. We're going to need to paste that in the folder with it. Now what you want to do, you want to name the hack whatever the uh, ROM is called. So basically what I do, I just hit rename, control C to copy it, rename this, control V. There you go. Should work. If you don't do that, the hack will not work unless it's an SMC file, then it will work. Some hacks are SMC files, those are usually people that didn't want to patch it for whatever reason, but uh, a lot of the better hacks, I wouldn't say better hacks, well actually a lot of the better hacks are going to be IPS files, so you're going to need to know how to do this if you want to play it. So once again, you're going to need a clean ROM, 
you're gonna need a hack, which is, this is Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom. You need to copy the hack, or the ROM, it doesn't matter which order you do it. You need to copy and paste both into the folder, the same folder that you just made, which I called Panic. And you need to rename the hack whatever uh, the actual ROM is called. And that's all you have to do to patch it. Once, once you uh, load up the emulator, I... I mean, I could load it up now and try to shimmy it in, but it's going to be messed up. See, you can probably kind of see it, but not really. Once you load it up, uh, here's the Panic folder. You go in. It says Super Mario World SMC. Don't worry about it. It should be Panic in the Mushroom Kingdom, which it is. It's by Ghetto Youth. That's how you patch it. And uh, there. Uh, you probably can't see that entire window anyway because I was recording something else. So, hopefully, you know how to do this now. I will show you a website where you can get many hacks for free, pretty much, that are good, bad, great, hard, easy, blah, 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 etc. So, we'll move on to that now. Right, there's pretty much a giant website dedicated to this stuff. You need to go to uh, smwcentral.net. That's not an abbreviation, that's the real website's name. It's not Super Mario World Central.net, it's smwcentral.net. I don't know if you'd get the same website or not. but. Uh, anyway, if you come to here, you have uh, pretty much right here is what you're looking for. Featured hacks and hacks. I can't show you that because uh, I'd have to enlarge the whole recording screen and that would mess up a bunch of stuff. But if you go there, featured hacks are, I believe, hacks that have been uh, like tested and they've already been moderated and blah, blah, blah. Hacks are just, uh, I guess, regular stuff. I, I really don't know. But there's a lot of stuff here. There's probably a couple hundred hacks uh, just within these two uh, little categories. If you want to look for stuff like uh, Kaizo, you're going to have to Google that because uh, this website generally doesn't allow really hard stuff like that. I don't think Kaizo's on here. It might be in the forum somewhere, but if you're looking for Kaizo or anything really hard, it, you're probably going to have to Google it. That's how I got mine. I, once again, I can't give you links to anything because either I don't have it or I can't. Really, that's pretty much the only thing I can tell you. But, uh, yeah, SuperMarvelCentral.net is where you need to go to get hacks unless people are sending them to you. And, uh, that's pretty much it. You're probably going to a little frequently asked questions thing here, so let's go to that. Well, I got to be kind of a douchebag in this frequently asked questions thing, so I'll start off with the, uh, stuff I'm probably going to be mean about. Can you tell me how you record your Xbox stuff? I could, and I already did. There's a playlist dedicated to it, and there's a link in my channel description. So, if uh, you didn't read that, I suggest you read that. Unfortunately, from this point on, because I've pointed this out several times already, I cannot any longer answer the, you know, huge list of questions about recording stuff unless you've already seen the videos about this or the Xbox stuff. The Xbox stuff, I mean, people are like, huh, what do you use to record? I mean, the basic questions have already been answered in that that uh, set, so can't really answer those questions anymore because they are a bit time consuming, especially when people have like 30 questions to ask me about it, and it's basically like, what cables do you use? What camera do you use? Uh, how do you record your audio? It's all covered in that, and most of what uh, people have been asking about Mario should have been covered in this so unless you have a unique question that you are for sure I did not talk about then you can ask it and I won't mind but if you ask something that I'm fairly sure I already covered your question is probably not going to be answered so don't feel bad uh, so I guess we'll go into some of the other stuff um, why isn't my hack working or why isn't uh, the ROM working you probably downloaded a bad ROM uh, that's pretty much all I can tell you. Bad ROM, bad hack, bad something. Something's bad. You're gonna have to re-download some stuff. Will you play my Mario hack? Sure. Send it to my email. It has to follow some guidelines, though. And if it doesn't follow the guidelines, then I will ditch it, like I've done before. The guidelines are in my channel description, which a lot of information can be found in channel and or video descriptions, so... A lot of times people will ask questions or say some stuff that's already been covered, and, uh, I just kinda have to ignore those because I've already covered it. Those are really the only couple things that I had to talk about that were frequently asked other than what I covered. So if you have a question that you feel I did not talk about or answer, then feel free to ask it in a PM or a comment or something. I don't care what you do. But be warned, if I have covered it and you ask it, it's going to get ignored. So hopefully this will teach the 
couple hundred people who have been asking me about Mario stuff, uh, how to play it, and what they need to actually do it.